Good morning. Uh, let's see who's on. Gloria, Barbara, Ardeen, Leslie. Leslie, can you believe this weather? I hope you're getting the same. <laughs> and there's Loretta, Sherry, Mama Bear. I saw Cheryl. Melinda from Lynchburg is on. Uh, what else we got? Leslie, we've been having terrible, uh, terrible weather today. Actually, since last night, it's been pretty, pretty bad. And so I hope we have a good, I hope we have a good show and we don't get disconnected or anything. I haven't checked my internet, but. Thank goodness it's Comcast, because at least they know what they're doing. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue, and I wanted to uh, show you a couple of couple of cards that use the same technique. Um, oh, I Loretta, I didn't go. I'm glad I didn't go though because I um it was in an old theater and there was no way that I was going to make the stairs. So um yeah. So I didn't get to go, but my sister went, my two sisters and um my older sister Teresa's love interest. I don't know what you call it, but I didn't get to go, and so, yeah, but it's okay. I was not feeling, I, I've been doing okay um, since this chemo. Um, I did go out yesterday with Santo and Owen for some <laughs> Christmas things um, and kind of got sick then, too, but, you know, it's all par for the course, you know, um, and... Also, um, this is my dad. This would have been my dad's 84th birthday. So I just wanted to send some love out into the universe. My dad was the best guy in the world. Of course, everybody says that about their dad. But, um, but he was my best friend. And it's been a tough 13 years without him. We used to make a really big deal of his birthday because he was born on the 18th. And back then, I think I've told you this before, but back then, um, they kept the mothers in the in the nursing ward for a week. And my grandmother was old hat at that point because she had already had four other children. But um, interestingly, now they would never do this now, but interestingly, they... Um, they, she had a lot of milk. She lactated quite a bit, and she actually pumped quite a bit for some other babies. This is what I hear. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyway, um, he came home on Christmas Day, and they put him under the Christmas tree. And from that point on, they treated him like he was like a prince uh, <laughs> and he had a lovely family that took very good care of him and uh, you know three wonderful sisters and mom and dad and uh, he was he was he was a, a unique individual I love I loved him so anyway happy to dad wish I could see <gasps> your mom your dad would have been a hundred wow Wow. Yeah, right from the beginning, he was a special guy. All right. So anyway, um, here's what we are doing today. Um, these are, I don't want to call them old, but these are cards we've done before, but I've added a twist to them, and that is to add um, iron-on to the front. And I change up the colors a little bit. Now, this one here... Uh, it uses like purple and that light jade green, pink, and then silver and, and a little bit of white. And the white is actually sparkle paper. I'll show you how to put them together. And then um, and then this one uses two different color greens and white and pink. 
So um, these are just really smashing cards. I mean, they're just very pretty cards with this variation. And I'm gonna show you how to do the variation. Um, yeah, those are my colors, Laurie Joe. Those are like the colors that I love, love, love. I know, they're cr different for Christmas. So um, let's have a look at, now there are two different cards that you can find in two different places. But they're both on my, excuse me, they're both on my, um, on my profile. And by the way, that, that you see there, that Be Merry, is what we're going to be doing uh, tomorrow. T tomorrow, we're going to do that using uh, Cricut Christmas paper packs that some people might have a lot of. I know I have a lot of those. And I don't have any banners, as Cheryl pointed out. So you'll notice that this is looks a little different than if you were to get the um, you were to get the the image in Design Space. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you where to find these, and then I'll show you how to modify them. So when we go to Images, that's where we're at here. We're going to go to Image Set. And we're going to type in Anna because these are Anna Griffin images. And we're going to scroll down to, I think they're under Christmas, Christmas cards. Let's see. Hmm. I should have checked that. I was up early this morning and I was like, okay, they're under Christmas cards and embellishments. I think two. Let's check and see. So, so there's quite a few images that you can use here. A lot of drawing, drawn ones too, which is cool if you like to use the drawing. So I'm going to choose this Merry Christmas to my dear friend. Um, and we can grab another one as well. And let's go ahead and find our, at least one of these two cards. All right. All right. Where are they? It should be here. Ay, ay, ay. I try to check everything ahead of time and then I don't. I forget something. Oh, well. All right. Well, if you're under the two, there's a couple of cards here that are really worth making. The poinsettia and the holly are very pretty um, as well. So let's go back and see if we can't find her Christmas Come on, holiday ornaments, no. I... All right, uh, okay, here's one, here's one. It's under lovely layered cards two, and here is, where is the bobble? There it is. So we just need to find the right format. So it comes in several different formats. It comes in with a little banner across it. This is a five by seven with the banner. We're not gonna use the one with the banner because we're gonna use that top layer as, um, as iron on. So we can't really write on. That's what the banner is for. So, um, Let's go ahead and grab the one without the banner, if I can find it. So many images in design space these days. All right, let's grab this one. All right, and we'll add that to the canvas. All right, so it comes in uh, rather, rather, this one is a square card actually. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna get rid of the envelope. I'm going to group this 
and I'm going to resize it just so we can be starting with um, the right side. So I'm going to resize it 10 by 7. Or maybe I should have done 7 by 10. Let's try that. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Rita, batting a 1,000 today. Oh. I'm going back. I'm going back to... Lovely layered cards, too. You know what I could also do is I could... Let's go back to... Uh, the canvas. All right, start from the top. I'm gonna to get rid of this and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna see what the image number is. There it is, woohoo, grab that one. All right. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this envelope because I want to do my own envelope. All right, and we're going to make it, we'll make it 7 by 10 to start off with, all right? So um, there it is, exactly 7 by 10. Now let's have a look at all the different um all the different layers. So you have this top layer, which we're going to adjust. We're going to make this top layer our silver. Um, so if it helps, it might be a good idea for us to color it something that looks silverish like this. Don't worry, we're going to we're going to mess around a little bit. This is going to be white. And then we're going to change some of the colors here. So I'm going to choose a pink uh, and purple. Purple. Where's the purple? I, don't, I never like the pink that they choose. And then this will turn to mint green. Mint green. All right. So... This is what the card is that you get. But I wanna make some changes here. I find when you make a card like this that has a top layer and then several layers, it causes problems with folding and also gluing. So what I wanna do is change this top layer to just being a layer very much like this, okay? So um, what I'm going to do is I am going to, first of all, I'm going to detach it so that I can take off this score line. Don't get rid of the score line because we need it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm going to cut this correctly. So there is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a shape of a square. Um, is is a square and we're going to make it five by seven so unlock it and we'll make it five by seven okay um, so it's going to go here and what we'll do is we'll take that back and we'll grab both of these and we're going to align to the left and then we align to the top like that. Now what that's doing is it's putting our card, the part that we want, we're gonna be cutting out that part from the square. So once we have it aligned correctly, and that's kind of an important part, we're gonna go down here. Let me see if I can get it in the screen, but this we're gonna use slice. All right, once we use slice, it's like a cookie cutter. So there's our front, which we've sliced off, and these are the squares that we no longer need. So now we have um, all these four tops. 
Now, um, I think, because I've been doing these cards for years, I think these cards are much better off when they have two folded images. So instead of having the one on the outside, I put two on the inside. So this one here um, is, actually we don't need that score line, is the seven by 10. So I'm going to actually come up here and duplicate it. All right. And I'm going to turn this into, uh, first of all, I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to just ever so slightly make it smaller. So nine and three quarters by six and three quarters. That will make it easier for it to nest inside of the card. We also probably want to change the color. So let's just change it to uh, white. I'm going to choose this white because I don't want it to be the same as this white. All right. And now that is going to, you see how that's going to nest. And now we can take Merry Christmas to my dear friend, bring it to the front. There you go. And you can make it bigger if you want to. I do. I want to. And there is the card. It's a little too big. All right. There's my card. And I'm going to go ahead and do attach so that my sentiment is on the inside attached to that card. And then we don't need this sentiment. So now we're ready to cut. So we're going to cut this top part out of iron on this part out of white paper. I'm going to use sparkle paper. <coughs> and then the pick two colors that you like that look good. Um, don't forget like the greens and stuff. And then this green will go underneath it. And then this one. So this is what it will look like on your screen. Now, if you're using smart vinyl, a smart iron on vinyl, which I did not use for this one, but if you are, you need to make sure that you choose without matte. That's if you have a Maker or an Explore 3. If you don't have a Maker or Explore 3 and you want to cut this out of iron-on, what you then do is you hit Mirror. Okay, you have to hit Mirror once you, once you, if, I don't want to give the impression that you don't need to mirror when you use the Maker 3, but um, it was like step two. So I'm going to mirror this. Now, it might seem like that doesn't matter because this is a very symmetrical card, but sometimes there are slight variations. So I like to do the mirroring as much as, as much as I possibly can. So, and that's it. Then it's just putting it together. So I have, um, I've got two different cards that I use that same technique on. There's our, there's our snowflake one. And there's our Christmas bobble one. The Christmas bobble one has a lot of uh, tiny little pieces. So if you're not a very patient weeder, I would go for the snowflake one if you're going to try this. So let's get out our pieces and we can put this together. It's really just kind of a paper piecing project until you get to the point where you're going to iron on. All right, so um, here we'll do this one first because I did already do all of that. All right, so there's our inner card. There's our one of our bases, like the front. And here is the card part with the sentiment. All right. So you see here, there's our sentiment, Merry Christmas to my dear friend. And I did make it slightly smaller, but you can't really tell. Uh, how did that happen? I thought I made it slightly smaller. I hope I did on the file so that you, when you pick it up. So these are supposed to nest in here like this. And so I use double stick tape to um, attach just one of the two 
just one of the two um, sides. Don't want to put this stuff on both sides, like here and here, because it causes a problem with folding. All right. So there's our double stick tape. Let's take this off. All of a sudden, it just stopped making noise outside. Isn't that weird? I hear it's going to do this all day. Maybe we're just getting a little, a little reprieve. I can imagine what this would be like if it were snow. The kids would have the day off. And I'm thinking about poor Owen standing at the bus stop. But that's kind of part of... Part of growing up, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna fold. Whoop! Nope! Nope! No! Don't do that! Oh, I messed it up. All right, all right. Gentle, gentle, gentle. All right. Here we go. Better. Okay. And then we have these three. One. No. We don't need this one. We have these three before we do the iron on. So let's put those together. Take out all your little pieces. I think it's time to change my blade. All right, so there's that. And this one, we're not gonna put it on there just yet because I wanna glue them and do the iron on first. So let's go ahead and glue. Huh. I'm surprised that my my glue looks slightly discolored because of that thing that I have in there, which shouldn't happen. It doesn't matter because nobody's gonna see the glue. All right, I'm going to use my Easy Press Mini in a moment. Mini in a moment. <laughs> and if you are watching it for the first time or you've never spoken up, um, I would encourage you to comment where you're from and just say hi. This is a terrific group of people um, who just love to make things and with their Cricut machines or um, yeah you could obviously watch it if you use a different machine just to see the techniques and stuff but I mostly use Cricut Design Space to do this so I've been using uh, Cricut since it's actually 10 years now 2003, 2013, 2013, 2003 would be 20 years. That's not right. I didn't even have machines then. All right. Well, they might have had machines then. I don't remember because they had before the expression, which was my first machine. Uh, they had like the bug, the baby bug, some of those, the mini. No, the mini came out after. All right. So now we're all set and we're going to, we're going to do our iron on. If I can find my, my nice mat. Where's my mat? Here's my mat. And here is my uh, Easy Press Mini. I'm going to actually put this on the three notches because it's pretty, uh, it's pretty thick, the iron-on. So you can see that we're going to need this. And there's my iron-on that I've already weeded. So... 
Let's have a look and see how it's going to go on there. I like to trim up the edges here so that sometimes it's a little, there's a little bit of overlay. And then afterwards, I'll trim that up a little bit. And sometimes with these cards, the, um, the middle pieces are not exactly the same size as that front piece and makes makes that from piece five by seven. So um, it's like slightly smaller, but I'll show you how to do that. And I noticed here I have little piece. If you have weeding that you did and you don't, you want to get rid of like little bits, a, a little bit of um, masking tape will pick it up. All right. I don't know why this one doesn't want to come off though. All right. There we go. I still get more. Bum, ba -da. I hope everybody's all set for the holiday. I had that conversation with my sister this morning. What are we going to do? And we're taking it cautiously because last Thanksgiving was uh, not a good thing. Uh-oh. What's this going on? That's weird. Okay. Okay. Maybe it didn't want to do the third one. Maybe it's somebody telling me not to do it. All right, here we go. I'm going to line this up best I can. And then I'm just going to start ironing right on top of those cardstock layers. Yeah, I had that talk with my sister, We're like, what are we going to do? She goes, well, I don't want to have a big meal, and then you can't attend, which has been the case for a couple of parties, my sister's 60th birthday party and Thanksgiving. So we're just going to take it easy and uh, have our... Christmas morning quiche. This is something I've been doing for ever. A couple, 20 years maybe. I make this really nice Christmas quiche with uh, maple, maple breakfast sausage and it has uh, peppers in it for the red. I don't know why it's called Christmas quiche. It's just, it's a nice quiche that we make. And my sister looks forward to it. I only make it once a year. <laughs> it's easy, but it's like, you know, don't we have, all have those those um, recipes that we just make once, once a, in a blue moon? Uh, so that's what my Christmas quiche is. Once in a blue moon quiche. Green chili egg bake. That sounds lovely. Um, I don't, I don't see that, Barbara. Barbara's asking, is does the iron melt the glue? I, I haven't seen that. Um, but if you're worried about it, you can just do the iron on the one piece on the white. This is super hot, remember. I mean, it's still an iron. And uh, even though it's tiny, it's still super hot. So we're going to let it relax a little bit. Cool down. Let's see. If you take it up from here, it will help. Cool it down. But I see here it's not quite attached on that end. But it is on this end. 
that. So let me just heat it a little tiny bit here. Sometimes I think the pointy side has less heat than the wider body part. Why is this doing that? That's weird. That is very weird. It's like it's overheating or something. I don't know. So yeah, this is the time of year that we start thinking about the new year and what we're going to do. And I got to tell you, I am so done with 2023 that um, I don't want to celebrate. I'm like, I just want to it to be 2024. Um, it's been a it's been a terrifically painful year for me, but I'm hoping that. 2024 will be better and um, I think I might have told you guys if you're following my journey um, I had my fifth of seven chemos on let's see last Tuesday and then the sixth one is going to be Hot. It's going to be uh, the day after New Year, so I'll have a little reprieve because I do get sick after. Um, and then there's another one uh, three weeks later, so like the end of J January. I tell you, the number of sirens, I don't usually hear sirens in my neck of the woods, but the number of sirens today, I think it must have to do with the trees because we have a lot of old trees in the neighborhood or in this general area because this is an older part of the city. And I'm going to turn this off because I don't know what's going on with that. And every time we have this kind of a storm, it really, uh, it really takes down some trees. So it's been super, super windy. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Remember I told you sometimes it's a little bit bigger. So I just took my true control knife and just went down there on that layer. And now, believe it or not, we're done with this card and we can... Let's see, let's put some double stick tape this time. Um, but wouldn't you like to receive this card in the mail? It's uh, very pretty. And a nice variation on, even if you've done this card before, nice variation. I can actually, since we have some time, we can actually do the one for the for the snowflake as well. All right. Now I think I'm going to send these to the ladies that brought me to uh, to the back and forth to the uh, center this year. Couldn't have done it without them, man. A couple times they had to help me get dressed. <laughs> crazy all right so there's our bobble and there's our card I'm just gonna try to do this there we go that's that's it. Isn't that nice? And it and having the two in the back 
helps because the front of the card is pretty heavy. Um, it, these cards will mail if you don't put too much in them. They'll mail with one stamp, I found out. So there's that one. And then let's look at this other one. All right. So here is one, two, three. And then this. Maybe I had the wrong one. It's very possible. No, doesn't look it. All right, so let's put this on here. Oh, anyway, let me just tell you that about Jim Gaffigan. He always would make his humor about um, food. He was very, he's very food oriented kind of a guy. And, uh, and I guess he lost quite a bit of weight. And so a lot of that was, a lot of the show was about how he had overcome the extra weight or whatever, but it was funny. And uh, so I'm sure we'll see it on Netflix or something. That's where I always watch him. He didn't even do, I guess, he, I didn't do his Dunkin' Donuts, how he, he makes fun of, because I love that part, where he makes fun of us New Englanders, we New Englanders. No, it makes fun of us New Englanders. So there's the inside part of the card, and then this part needs to be weeded. By the way, if you have trouble weeding, I like to turn it like kind of to the side. And once I find a couple of the pieces that I'm going to weed, it, it starts to take shape and I know where I can find them. So in this case, I also will leave this here just to kind of keep an eye on because sometimes you can grab an edge and it's like oh no that's something that has to stay right so i know my my poor sister she tries so hard and then i'm like i'm so sorry i ruined everything so mom's doing okay i gave her a couple of um things to bring into her work. She got one of the churches that I made. We're going to do the church, right? This weekend, we can do it as like a kind of remind me of from Christmas vacation where the woman who used to be in, uh, what was she in? Her name is Doris. She was in the Everybody Loves Raymond Anyway, she was putting together a gingerbread and drinking her martinis uh, in the movie. In the movie, it's just funny. It reminds me when it, whenever I make a big project, uh, it just reminds me of that movie. My mother does not like that movie, by the way. It's too chaotic for her, but it's funny. She's better with say lifetime movies <laughs> then then I am uh I get a little tired of them but they're cute and because my mother's not got the greatest memory it's good because even if they repeat them she doesn't remember that they repeated them I do but she doesn't so Oh, and I got my Christmas tree decorated. Uh, finally, uh, got the lights on there, and and uh, I had to buy lights this year uh, because nobody could find my lights. And 
Yeah. There we go. Oh, what's up with Gail? Yeah, I agree. You're right. Cheryl always has good advice. Wait, I missed the part about Gail. It's a journey, I know. She's on that journey, too. <sighs> I don't know. It's tough. Although, I mean, I, I think that we're making progress because I watch, like, when I watch the TV programs, they have, like, St. Jude, and they said that their, their rate of... Um, their rate of recovery is like 80% now, but only because of all of the, uh, only because of all of the research and everything. And they're only taking into account the children, but still. Danny Thomas, pretty perceptive guy. To start that. For a long time I thought it was Danny K. That Danny K is a different person. But um Bing Crosby. So what's your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, I mine is uh White Christmas and It's a Wonderful Life. And you can find them uh, White Christmas is always on Netflix every year. It's really, if you've not seen it, is really a great little show. And it's colorized, whereas uh, Miracle and... No. It's a Wonderful Life is not colorized. So, if you want to see something in color, and there's big, there's big, like, show themes, like, dance numbers because that's the whole premise of the movie it's really like but they have this great song in there snow 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 all right i just love snow but i don't have to shovel it so i don't i try not to tell everybody i love snow because then i would have to shovel it maybe no santa does that for me okay so there's that one so barbara had said, oh, maybe, maybe it's too much heat. And that could be what the problem was with my, um, with my Easy Press Mini. So let's just try to do it on this one piece. See if that helps. Okay, and so tomorrow too, just to let you know, Tomorrow we're going to be doing a banner using paper that a lot of people, they got it when it was on sale. I don't know if it's been on sale this time around, but it's Christmas paper and it has two different reds, three different greens, and then an off-white um, in the pack. I'm trying to think what else is in there. Three greens, two reds off-white and you'll also need a couple of sheets of white oh i love elf and christmas story was my my dad's favorite my dad's favorite i might have been his favorite of all time i don't know why does this keep doing this that's very strange i'm gonna ask jamie jamie has that ever happened to your easy press mini She knows all the machines. Maybe you could see why is it doing that? That's so strange. I'm gonna have to get my other one until I can figure out what's wrong with this one. It's like it doesn't want to go to two or three. Okay, now I can read the 
yeah, it's a cream color. And I made it into a banner. So you're going to want to come and pick up. Uh, you can do whatever saying you want. I would think I was going to do, this time I think I was going to do Merry and Bright. Um, or, anyway, there's two different banner type things that you can use. And I'm going to show you one of the two. I think that will be good. And then what else are we doing this week? Oh, we're going to be doing the the um, church. This is very strange. We're going to be doing the church, uh, I think, on Saturday. We'll do the church. And then what else we got this week? Oh, place cards for dinner. So that's nice. And... Uh, a couple of ornaments that I wanted to show you uh, that you can put on your tree or give away as like gift tags. So we have a busy week and I uh, do have some of those cards that I was supposed to over the weekend, but I just didn't, didn't feel it. So, um, so I will show you those as from SVG Cuts. She actually has a new project for, it, it's kind of cute. It, it's very old fashioned. Um, it's like a little tote bag, like, um, like, I don't know, like patchwork kind of woven, but out of paper, just cute. Well, this is not going as planned. So I'm going to figure out what's going on. But let's just go ahead and finish up this part. But doesn't that look nice? Look at that. Looks so cute. But it's not working. So we have to as, as uh, wrong. As my dear friend Cheryl says... We have to adjust. We have to adjust. So let's go ahead and do these two. Oh, this to me looks like. Yeah, this is the top layer. So if Jamie's here, I think I saw her. Uh-oh, check the layers again. I think it was like a gift tote. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm glad you like that banner. I do too. Really cute. And you can change it up, you know, if you have one that you already made, you can make it again. Uh, uh. This is not going to be good. Boy, I'm batting a thousand today. How do you like that? Well... Not great. I almost think I should, uh, at the end of the week, take all my my glue things and wash them because it's when it sets, it dries, and that's an issue. There we go. 
I love the idea of, of making cardinal ornaments. Should probably see about that. And I did have some friends who lost their parents um, this year. Uh, well, let's try this again because this is almost done. Not everybody, not everybody knows that about cardinals, but I don't know, whatever, if it's true, it's not true. It's still, it's a nice thing to, to think about, don't you think? Although, I don't think there's anything wrong with thinking about or having that in your head. Because we don't have the answers. None of us do have the, all the answers. So there you go. Oh, that's a nice idea. You had to put, replace your mini twice. <gasps> First one stopped turning on. Second did what yours is doing. You used mine a ton, so it's no surprise. Oh, well, I don't, I wonder if Cricket knows that. I mean, if this, if this were a regular iron, like an iron iron, you would expect it to work. Well, I do have another one, so I can just replace it with the other one. But. Obviously not right this second. Oh, well. Oh, Barbara. So you said, D does it melt? No, it, it doesn't seem to melt. However, um, it is a little harder getting this off. You see? So, there you go. And there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's a little harder because the pieces are a little more, a little more fragile. Fragile! They're a little fragile. <laughs> I actually did that not with fragile, but with another word. Has that ever happened to you? You look at a word and you're like, this must be in a foreign language. Um... And, and yet it was just the correct spelling and I just, my brain wasn't computing properly. There we go. Now this one looks a little bit. So pretty hot. So to answer your question, Barbara, it doesn't seem to cause problems, but I, I kind of like the way we did it the first time because it makes it easier to sort of pull off the different layers. Okay, yeah. Now we can glue it on here. If I can get the glue to work and then we can be done and we can work on our, um, our banner for tomorrow. I promise I'll, it must be this weather or something because I promise I'll be more prepared for tomorrow. All right. And that's going to do it for me for today. I'll hang on until I finish up this card. Thank you for coming and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I also appreciate when you, you hit the like button and you, what else? You subscribe to my channel. Um, it's, it's really helpful to me and hopefully next year we'll be back with all new projects to use with our machines. I, 
want to, even though I have it, I haven't played around with the Joy Extra. So I'm told that that is really a fun machine. And from what I saw, I was like, yeah, looks like a lot of fun. But uh, I haven't played around with it. So should make uh, more of an effort to do Joy things uh, during the during the year next year okay because that was that's fun and actually I could probably bring bring it to when I get my treatments I I brought my uh, my gluing with me and everybody was like whoa what are you doing that was kind of fun oops um, yeah so that was that was fun, something a little uplifting for the nurses and stuff. Well, you guys, it's not sticking on there completely, but <laughs> there you go. Put a Patreon membership. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. I know I do need to change out the pin, but the pin actually came, I think that one came with, with my, uh, my little cleaner bee. So if you feel any resistance, oh, by the way, this is where I got the, um, the, the bee thing. Uh, it's on Etsy, Bee Creative Crafts, Debbie Holt, and she's got it's B-E-E -E, Creative Crafts. And sh when you buy one of the uh, gl glue topper pins, uh, she also sends you a cleaner one. So let's do that. There we go. Maybe that'll clean it up. What do you guys use? with your um with your glue bottles i think turning it upside down is probably one of the best tips that i've heard um because it it doesn't allow the the glue to dry so i think i'm gonna have to get a little shot glass and put mine in the shot glass. All right. Okay, well, <laughs> sometimes things don't go as planned. So there you go. Anyway, all right, you guys, thank you so much for coming today. Hope you have a lovely day. And uh, if, it's, if it's raining like it is here, then Stay indoors and do crafts. Um, oh, there you go. All right, see so you all. You store them upside down in a mug. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's crafting. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Oh, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, coming today. All right. And uh, take care of yourselves. Hope to see you again really soon. All right. Take care. Bye.